Hi, boys and girls. You can't see my face, and that's because I wanted to show you these pictures while I read you this little introduction to Palm Sunday, as some people call it. Today is Monday, but yesterday was the day that Jesus would have ridden into Jerusalem. So we're going to read this story out of the Beginner's Bible Storybook. Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Jesus told two disciples to bring him a donkey. He told them where to find it. Jesus rode the donkey to Jerusalem. A big crowd welcomed him. People waved palm branches and put them on the road in front of Jesus. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the King of Israel. The leaders in Jerusalem did not like this. They did not like Jesus. They saw how many people were following him and they were angry about it. They were jealous. Okay, let's look at our folder here. It says the triumphal entry. That's what some people call this coming in to Jerusalem of Jesus. And you can see here people waving palm branches. We're going to ask some questions about the story. I want you to know where you can find this in your Bibles. It's recorded in every gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. In Matthew 21, 1 through 11. Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. Luke chapter 19, verses 29 through 44. And John chapter 12, verses 12 through 19. Luke 19, 29 through 44. And John chapter 12, verses 12 through 19. Okay, we're going to use palm branches to answer questions today, okay? And put them on the folder game. Number one, can you remember how many disciples did Jesus send into the village to get the donkey? Do you remember? Was it three, two, all 12 of them? Two, correct? If you said two, that's the right answer. Two. What was the name of the village they were going to? Now, I didn't say that in our story we read out of the Beginner's Bible Storybook. But if you look in your scriptures, it will tell you. You can either call it Bethany or Bethphage. Alright? That's the name of the town that they went to get. What were they to bring back to Jesus? That's the next question. Um, let's see. Was it a pig? Was it a horse? Was it a donkey? Was it a camel? If you said donkey, that's correct. But here it says the colt because it was an unbroken donkey. That means that it had not been ridden before. It says that in the scripture. And this is very interesting, boys and girls, because if you know horses and donkeys, if they have never been ridden before, they don't just let you hop on and start riding them. They will buck you off, throw you off, they won't even uh, adjust right away to a saddle or a blanket being put on them. It takes time. But notice how Jesus just got on the donkey and rode the donkey. 
And when the donkey was going through the crowd of people, it didn't spook. Jesus is peace. Jesus brings peace. That's an interesting thing to think about if you never thought about that before. Number four says, where were they when Jesus sent the disciples into the village? Where were they coming from? We didn't read that in our story either, but it's a mountain that they would go to often. Do you remember? Look in your scripture. Can you find what that was? Mount Olivet or the Mount of Olives? You can call it either one. Number five, what were they to tell the owner of the colt? Okay, they go up and the man is going to wonder something, isn't he? He's going to say, hey, what are you doing taking my, my donkey? What did Jesus tell them to tell the man? Did they pay the man for it? No, Jesus said to tell them, the Lord has need of it. Hath is a an old-fashioned or um, old translation word. Hath need of it means he needs it. Okay, he has need of it. Okay, Jesus rode the colt into what city? Where was he headed to? Where was he going? Was he going to Bethlehem or Jerusalem? Which one? Jerusalem is correct. Okay. What did his disciples put on the colt? Did they put a saddle on the colt? No. They didn't carry a saddle around with them, did they? Um, did they put a car seat on the colt? No. I'm being silly, aren't I? They put their garments. What are garments? Garments are clothes or their outer clothes, like their what they call cloaks. In scripture, we would call that um, a coat, a jacket, a, a sweater. Um, same thing. Okay. Number number eight. What did the multitude spread along the way? What did they put down in front of Jesus as he came riding in? One thing is the same as what the apostles put on the colt. Garments and palm branches. Palm branches. If you've seen palm trees, you know they have big leaves. And what were they saying? What were they crying out, shouting as Jesus came into town? Hosanna, hallelujah, hooray. What were they saying? The word is Hosanna to the son of David because Hosanna means please save us. They were thinking that the son of David was going to be the next king who ruled in Jerusalem, who sat on the throne in the palace, and that he would overthrow the Romans who were con in control of the Jews, in control of Israel at that time. But Jesus said, no, um, that's not what I'm, I came to do. I came to give you eternal life, spiritual life. Okay, so there's our little folder activity for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you know the song, uh, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Um, they, they might have been singing something very similar to that. Remember, Hosanna means please save us. And he was going to save them, but just not in the way that they expected.
Okay, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.